Hello everyone. In this video I will show a quick demo of the split skeleton tool, which I find very useful where I need to split a KineFX skeleton segment into multiple joint segments. So first I'm going to create a skeleton and just place a few joints. And I'm gonna create a rig doctor next. Just to initialize the transforms and reorient the joints. So after that, I'll create a split skeleton. And here we can see a few different parameters. So the first one is a group. So this will be a primitive or a segment that will be split. So let's select this middle segment. And I'm going to create another node here. I'm gonna create visualize rig so it will be easier to visualize all the joints. So here the number of joints to insert defines how many joints will be inserted into this segment. And as we can see, the orientation of these added joints here is taken from this first joint. So from the start of the segment. And that is how this tool works. It splits the segment into multiple segments and the joints are oriented as the first joint. So this is the end joint, this is a start joint and all these joints are oriented as the start joint. Then here are a few other parameters as well. I'm gonna just split this view and here just enable the, the geometry spreadsheet. So the name attribute for joint will be in this case split underscore. So this is just a name prefix and the suffix of the name is just the split index number. So if I change this to split A, for instance, the split joints will be renamed accordingly. And this is very important when, where we have multiple split skeletons so that the names can be different. So for instance, if I just copy this one and split a different segment, and I'm gonna change the number of split joints, let's say to four. So here now the names are clashing. So what we can do is just change the name prefix for the second split skeleton to split B and we have uh, the proper naming so that no names are clashing in this case. There's also an output group name which defines uh, the group into which all these joints will be added. So if I just create group node. So here if I change this to points and select split we can now see that all these split joints have been added to this split group, including the start and end joint. There's also create start and end joint groups, which will create a separate joint group, in this case split end and split start, just for start and end joint. So if I go back here and here, just for instance, highlight the split end, we see there's only this single joint added here. And the same for split start, it will just include the start joint. So this is just in case we wish to have the start and end joint in a separate group. So again, here we can now create a split B group. And here we now have a split, I'm gonna just rename this to split A group. So if we go here, we now have split A group, split group end, split group start, and the same for split B group. So if we disable start and end joint group, we just have the split B group. I can now delete this group node. Now, one thing that split skeleton also creates is the ID split attribute. Let me just filter the attribute first in the geometry spreadsheet. Each split skeleton node creates a different ID split attribute. So this is split A 
from the first one and split B from the second split skeleton. So for each split, a new attribute is created with the name prefix and ID split suffix. If the value of this attribute is minus one, this means it's not part of that split. Zero and up can be used to iterate through split joins in VIX, for instance. So if I now sort by split A, ID split attribute here in the geometry spreadsheet and display the joint point numbers, we can see that point number one is split ID zero, point number four, which is the second one, has the split ID one and so on. So this attribute can be used to go from star joint to end joint in proper order in VIX, for instance. And that was the overview of the split skeleton tool.